talk about very authoritarian uh, in Thailand. The former PM is being charged for insulting the monarchy. Imagine going to jail because you said a few mean words about some dude in power and he didn't like it. This is one of the problems with having a monarchy. They can abuse their power at their will. If you say just one wrong thing, they can have you arrested and put in jail. That is true insanity. To Thailand next, prosecutors there are to charge the former Prime Minister Thaksin Chinawat for insulting the monarchy. The controversial political leader who returned to Thailand last year after 15 years in exile is being indicted over an interview he gave to a Korean newspaper nine years ago. His lawyer said he believed the video of the alleged insult was not authentic. Mr. Well, something that happened nine years ago, I am doing an interview and he's going to be charged with it for insulting the monarchy. The dude, the monarch, the monarchy needs to uh, have a bit more tougher skin uh, if they're going to just start throwing anybody and everybody into jail for saying something they don't like. Taxin is the most high profile figure to face charges under a strict law which forbids the insult of the monarchy. It has been increasingly enforced ever since the Thai military took power in 2014, and many people have been punished with harsh jail sentences. For more on this, I spoke to our Southeast Asia correspondent, Jonathan Head, who's in Bangkok. It was just a year after his sister, uh, leading a government led, head, headed by his party, was ousted by a military coup. And in this interview, he accused the council, the Privy Council, the um, very senior military figures who advised the monarch, of being complicit in, in allowing that coup to happen, of deposing his sister. Um, the Privy Council actually is not, not covered by the Les Majesty law, but the law these days is interpreted in such a broad and sweeping way that prosecutors and the courts typically um, consider any comment at all that might reflect negatively on the monarchy, it might be tangential, it might be somebody associated with it, uh, that that could also be considered in violation of the law. It's interesting they're using it again. Well, what an extreme abuse of uh, people's rights. Uh, people have the freedom to assault anybody in their government. And the fact that these people can still be punished for that is truly out of this world. Um, this dude definitely needs to be, like, ousted from being... Uh, the ruling monarch, and there definitely needs to be an actual democratic government in Thailand. Hence, such a high profile figure. I mean, it really puts the monarchy center stage still, something it's supposed not to be apolitical, it's supposed to be above politics. But you've got Taksin Shinawat facing uh, in charges of insulting the monarchy. You've got the party that won the election last year, the reformist move forward party, facing disillusion because of its its policy of wanting to amend this very harsh law. The monarchy just sits centre stage time and again in Thai politics, despite Conservatives saying, oh, we've got to keep the monarchy out of politics. It's always there as a factor. And just explain, um, Taksin Shinawat um, has come back to the country. He still has a huge political influence there, doesn't he? He's, he's a very outsized figure anyway. This man was, you know, he's charismatic. He founded a, a, a new party that was the most successful election winning machine Thailand had ever seen in the first decade of the century. Um, he was ousted by a coup, then his sister was later. He's been whittled down by military and royalist forces, but his party is still very significant. Now, he was in exile for 15 years, but allowed to come back last year because this new reformist party I mentioned, Move Forward, was suddenly seen by the Conservative establishment as actually as much more of a threat. So they kind of came up with a grand bargain. Mr. Taxa could come back as long as he was contrite, which he was. His party, which had not done so well in the election last year, would be allowed to form a multi-party coalition and, and he would be allowed to put an ally in to govern. And that's what's happened. But he's still very visible. I think a lot of the hardcore royalists don't trust him. And I think many people will see this 
um, indictment on these very serious royal charges as a kind of warning. And, and you know, the case could take a very long time to go to trial. 